We do uh, ask Riley on the show, or because Riley's lived her life as a hot mess and just uh, <laughs> well, uh, 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 took, wrong, took the hard uh, road every which way possible, but somehow kind of found her a happy ending. And that's yeah, that's fine. Happy ending is what we that you happy get what I'm beginning. Saying. Yes. Um, so we had a question ready to go, but then I saw this text. So let me just say good morning to uh, Leslie. Good morning. Hey, Leslie. Good morning. So we always uh, say whether it's with like a roses or with it's with the second day update, we try to pump the uh, time sensitive things to the top. So that's why we're here. So Leslie, what's going on with you? So you. You want me to start asking my question now or just... Well, yeah, yeah. so because I saw your text. So, like, first yeah. of all, you and your boyfriend have been together for how long? Seven years in September. Okay. And we met We met uh, how? Um, at our previous job. Okay. In seven years, not engaged, right? Uh, well, I have a ring, but that's it. <laughs> wait, okay. gir- wait, girl. Not wait, girl. So, that, so you, we are engaged. Yeah, yeah. He proposed on New Year's Eve three years ago. Oh, I have so okay. many questions. And then we just haven't set the date yet, or? We did have a date set, and then when COVID hit, um, it got canceled, and then um, we just haven't got back to the drawing board. Okay. More so him than me. Sure. And we've been living together for how long? The whole, almost seven years, because I got pregnant with our daughter. Oh, you have kids. Uh, very early. Very. Oh, we have two. He um, raises my son as well. But okay. uh, actually, my daughter's name is Riley Rose. Oh, so crazy. I love oh, that. Look at that. Okay. And so, it's my final question for you, just to set the page, uh, Leslie. Do our friends and family like him? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Everyone gets along. Okay. So, your question for uh, Riley is what? So, my question is: On Saturday night, he came to me and asked if he could go hang out with some of his friends. And he had one of his friends on FaceTime, and I was talking to him, and I was like, yeah, sure, okay. And he said he would be home, like, you know, no later than 1130. I was like, all right, sounds good. Well, he told me he would call me when he got with them, and he never did. So, of course, you know, I start calling and texting, no answer. So then I finally fell asleep, and then when I woke up at 3 in the morning, he still wasn't home. And he still didn't call, text, so I started, of course, blowing up again, right. and he's not answering. And then he doesn't call me until 6.55 in the morning, Sunday morning, and the first thing he says is, I'm sorry. Oh. So, of course, you know, like, I don't, I have all the doors locked. Like, I don't want him coming back. Like, I'm mad. Yeah. And then, obviously, I let him in as soon as he gets home because, you know, I did. And But my thing is, I just feel like... He should shouldn't he, he should like be kissing my butt basically right now and like giving me some type of explanation or something like And he's not? I just, no. Besides that, I'm sorry, that was it. See, that's what I was gonna ask you next. Like if you had spoken to him about it, like did you confront him about it and he just basically went like numb and didn't say a word? He he got like kinda like mad, like oh. I was with my friend, da da da. And then like he told me quote unquote where they were, which I don't believe because he doesn't Where were they girl? Was it Bible study? Uh, he- <laughs> He's players they were in Federal Hill. Oh, okay. okay. Well, my question though is like, is your fear that he went out and cheated with somebody else and that's why he's not coming forth with what they yeah. did? Has he ever cheated yeah. before? Um, I can't say he slept with a female before because I don't know, but there's been incidents like emotional one, affairs? And- uh, yeah, like oh. in December, he lied. In December, he lied to me and said he was going to meet his sister for something. But in reality, he met some girl that he <gasps> worked with. But she was on COVID at home or sick with COVID, so he met her and they swapped Christmas presents. Um, but the Christmas present he lied to me about. Okay, that changes Wait, the whole situation. Well, let me let me ask. So, what, what did he give her for Christmas? And what did he give you for Christmas? Uh. He, I don't know what, he said he got her a hat because she wears hats and he, she got him a hat too. But he told me his coworker gave it to him, Frank, because his coworker, um, because his coworker, um, felt bad that he, that my boyfriend got him more than what he got him. So but in reality, the, the, the hat came from the girl. That switches everything for me. Cause in your original question, you were like, should I leave him? And I was listening to you saying, all right. 
three years engaged, seven years together. You guys have kids together. He's raising your son. I was like, okay, this seems like maybe it could be salvageable. He was an idiot, stayed out late and got drunk with his friends. But then you add all of this in, that that's not even just a red flag. That's a whole armada of flags to me. Ah, like... I just feel like red flags within you, if you know within your gut, you kind of need to listen to what your body is telling you. I'm not necessarily saying you need to just flat out leave him right now over this, but girl, that wedding doesn't need to happen before you get these fears and concerns underway. Like, if he was openly communicating with you, saying, I messed up, please don't be angry, that's a different situation. But in my experience with idiots, and I've had many, when they get defensive like that, there is something they don't want you to know. There's something they did to mess up. And even if it's not, like, full-on cheating... The communication or the miscommunication there breeds to so much stuff later. Like, there's just so many things unresolved that are always going to bubble up. And I don't know that I would want to enter into a marriage, especially one with kids involved, like that. Oh, I know. You're exactly correct. And, like, that's why I've been getting frustrated this whole week because I just feel like, like I said earlier, he should be basically kissing my butt and yeah. doing everything in the world. And he hasn't done one thing. Let me ask you this, Leslie. I think this is an important piece of the puzzle. So you you said that when he told you he was going out, he was on FaceTime with a friend? Uh Uh-huh. Do you trust his friend? Because this is why I ask. Because if, like, if it was one of my buddies and I thought that he was with somebody, like, good, better than him and, like, a good person, I would never in my life cover for a friend who's cheating on his girl. Unless, like, Uh I was a POS myself. I thought I did until this incident Ooh. because um, the Sunday, um, the girlfriend of his friend contacted me uh-uh. and wanted to know exactly what time my boyfriend got home. And supposedly her boyfriend and my boyfriend had two different stories. And then while her and I were on the phone, she actually started confronting her boyfriend because my story from what I was getting told from mine wasn't matching to what his she, he was telling Girl, her. listen to your inner so, dialogue. It is telling you something. Listen to it. Right. Please don't ignore those red flags because you know you deserve better than what is happening right now. You know you want better than what is happening right now. And if he is not providing that to you, no. Like, I, I just think that, yes, you've been together for a long time. Yes, you guys have had a lot invested in this relationship. But at the very least, something has to give here. And it can't stay this way and just continue. Because then for 10, 20 years, you're going to come back to this moment and always wonder, like, what happened there? Why did I put up with this? And if he gets away with it now, he'll do it again. And, yeah, I know, and that's what I'm worried about. And then I'm like, I'm still so young. Like, I don't want to keep wasting more years. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'll say this, Leslie. Too. My, my one thought early on was he's coming for his buddy, uh, and that's why he's upset. Because there's been times where like there's been situations where I've been drugged into that I don't want to be in, and uh, he maybe he thought he was going for a boy's night, and buddy is something stupid, and he's covering for his friend. You don't think that's, he, he cheated? I don't, that, that to me is the odd part of that, where so, somebody's covering for somebody. If he seems more annoyed, he could be pissed off that his buddy put him in that spot. I don't. Either necessarily way, somebody did something wrong. Get he's going. Full. He's like he's getting like fr- like every time I bring it up, he's like uh, just drop it. He's like I don't know Ooh. why you're still in your feelings. I said I'm sorry, and I'm like, well, no. it's more than I'm sorry because your feelings have been resolved yeah. he hasn't given and you I what you need in it him. yeah and i would never do that and there's, he knows i wouldn't do that to him. there's your biggest clue too if you wouldn't do that to him don't accept that from him right i think the biggest thing leslie is probably need to have the conversation yeah. even, even if he doesn't want to but uh i know it's not a fun conversation to have but i think that probably has to be done yeah yeah trying to make it happen yeah you've and, got this mama if you need me to call and offer him flowers girl i got uh, you <laughs> Yeah, sounds good because he doesn't even listen to his radio station. Uh, well, so then, Leslie, then, then Leslie, that that brings more questions. Right? How dumb is he that he doesn't listen to this show? Another red flag. I, I know he does. Him and I listen to two different types of music, so uh, he yeah. doesn't listen to. This. Yeah, so he's a big. Does he know how big of a dummy he is? Not listening to this show. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, and just for that, now, Leslie, I'm gonna try to sleep with him, and then I'm gonna prove him wrong. Okay. All righty. <laughs> Sounds like we got a plan. Okay. Yes, girl. We Leslie, love you. I'm gonna Let put us know you, what happens. I'm, yeah, I'm going to put you hold this. We're going to get you, you uh, guys too. We're gonna get you at least a coffee in my man shirt, okay? 
Okay, thank you. Hold on one second. Um, glad, glad we did that. I think yeah. that was uh, nobody deserves to have questions like that Not in a relationship. Not at all. Not at uh, all. You deserve to be happy. A lot of texts coming in. 100% cheated. That's exactly what happened to me with my ex. Was out to 5 a.m., told me, fell asleep in his car a couple days later, found out he cheated. I think either he did or the friend did. Something One happened. Yeah, uh, too. Faux so show. You can continue your thoughts over a text, uh, 99338. 